Welcome back, kiddos. We've got another Animal Crossing video. I don't know why I just did that, but we're gonna have to live with it because I'm not re-recording this. Anyway, <laughs> we're here today to cover some of the new and exciting summer updates. I think it's like part two of the exciting summer extravaganza. We're going to look at Luna and the Dream Islands. We're going to take a look at the fireworks shows. We're going to take a look at some quality of life improvements that are a little bit, you know, if you don't know they're there, then you're probably not going to know they're there. But we're going to go over those too, so I hope you guys are ready. And uh, you know the drill. If you haven't already, drop a sub. It costs you nothing. Means the world to me. We're going for a thousand subs this year, and we are super duper close. And I need you. To just click the button, that's that's all it takes. Just, just click the button. Good job. And you can leave a like if you like the video and drop a comment if you want to say, Hey, Uda, you talk too much. Or, Hey, Uda, you're kind of cool. Or, Hey, Uda, I, I like your island. Or, Hey, Uda, I don't like your island. It's really up to you. So we're going to start off with the fireworks shows because they are pretty, pretty dang cool. Uh, the way those work is that every Sunday during the month of August, there will be a fireworks show. And it starts at 7 p.m. Isabel will actually be outside of resident services for uh, the special occasion. And she will give out special favors after 7 p.m. And if you talk to her before or after 7 p.m., you can actually give her custom designs that she will use as fireworks. So occasionally when you look up in the sky during the fireworks show, you can see some of your custom designs exploding in the sky, which is actually really cool. Another little treat that only starts after 7 p.m. on the Sunday of the firework evening is that Red will have a little stall open up in the uh, town center, and he'll be running a raffle. You get lots of really silly prizes. Uh, balloons, fireworks, sparklers, party poppers, bubbles. It's it's very Japanese festival prizes. It's, it's pretty awesome. You can get a neat little collection of doodads. And uh, speaking of doodads, Isabel here has given me some six star boppers, just like the ones that she is wearing, so that we can really get in the mood for firework night. And you can have fun with the, the fountain fireworks and the little sparklers. Look at us go, Pietro! Yeah, join me for a sparkler party! Woo! There's also a silly little Easter egg if you get one of the balloons from Red's Raffle and uh, sprint around with it for a while, you may have a little accident and lose your balloon. Oh no. So now we're gonna take a look at the uh, great and long awaited return of Dream Islands. Luna shows up and gives you all sorts of exciting new options. In order to access this, all you need to do is update your game and check the mail, and you should have a letter from Luna with a special gift attached. Now, the uh, gift is a special bed. You'll also get a, a mail from Nintendo after the update with a really neat firework wallpaper, which is super dope. Now, for the Dream World thing, Luna gives you a bed, but you do not need that bed. You can use any bed to access the Dream Islands, so don't worry about having to use her special bed if it doesn't fit your decor. As you can see me over here, completely ignoring the brand new bed I threw down and using my nice shell bed that I have had since ooh, very early on when I started playing. I love this bed. Now all you gotta do is hop in the bed and it'll give you a new option that asks you if you want to sleep. And if you say, yes, I want to sleep, then you will be transported into the dream realm. I think I gotta say, if I could, I'd just hang out here all day because it's so pretty with the space and the clouds and and the little uh, gyroid like incense burner. Oh my gosh, I love, I love this place. I love it and I love that my bed came with me. So now Luna's gonna show up and she is going to introduce you to Dream Islands and how everything works. She's going to talk to you uh, about what this place is and you can ask her some questions and she'll tell you about how to upload your island, how it works, how to update it, all of the good, good information that you need 
to share your dream islands with your friends and visit their dream islands and have an amazing time with this awesome new update. Unfortunately, you can't actually interact with the Dream Islands. Like, if you go to your friend's Dream Island, you can't really mine. Like, you, you can't bring anything back. It's more just a way to explore the things that other people have built, not really progress in the game. But, if you're interested in visiting other people's islands and seeing what they have created without having them have to be online and invite you over, or you even having to know them, that is really cool gives you a lot of inspiration on you know maybe what you want to try to build another little drawback is how you appear in your dream island is based on whatever you're wearing when you um went to sleep and uploaded the island so if you tend to wear a lot of wand outfits you might have a little issue because you cannot enter the dream world while you're wearing a wand outfit so make sure you have a cool outfit picked out <laughs> Another fun little addition, as you may have seen me wearing in the beginning of the video, is that cool King Tut uh, Egyptian mummy mask thing. Pretty awesome, and I bet you want to know how to get one for yourself. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, all you have to do is find a gold nugget and pick it up. That's it. Then you will learn the recipe, and it takes about five gold nuggets to craft it. It's not too difficult. You gotta get a little bit lucky. I did test to see if you could just drop a gold nugget on the ground and then pick it up and you would learn it, but unfortunately that does not work. So you can either try to get one on your island from one of your rocks, or you can go island hopping with Nook Mile tickets, which is what I ended up doing until you find one and boom, recipe. Now, I'm not sure if it's the uh, weight of the mask or the fact that there doesn't seem to be any eye holes to see out of or what exactly, but much like with the balloon, only a lot more frequently, if you run around with the mask on, you trip a lot, all the time, just flat on your face, over and over again. It, it can be hilarious, but also a little bit irritating. But yeah, that's, that's another fun little Easter egg with the tripping. They really do seem to want to... Um, I don't know, motivate you to run around, uh, but then you fall down. It makes me think that they're like, slow down, kids, but I don't know. It's it's definitely an amusing addition, though. So uh, we're going to look at one of the quality of life, I'll call it, improvements now. Um, it's definitely awesome if you like using custom designs uh, at the custom design portal in the Able Sisters shop. They have now added a search function so you can search with keywords you don't have to just know exactly the item you're looking for and enter super complicated ids to download one thing or you know find a whole creator you can just look for specific things like sand or cute or scary or you know turtles if you're so inclined this just makes it so, so easy to um, actually explore different designs from creators and just actually, you know, enjoy the custom design system a little bit more because it was definitely a pain in the butt to use. And uh, if you can see my creator ID right there, guys, you might be happy to know I finally got off my butt and uploaded all of my roads and some of my uh, schoolgirl dress designs and whatnot. So I will uh, put the creator ID down below in the description as well for you guys if you want to download all of my silly roads and stuff. So I know a lot of you have been asking for that. So another long-awaited, or at least hoped-for, feature that they said they were going to come out with and they finally have is backups. At the um, main screen of the game, if you hit the minus button, it'll take you to the Tom Nook options menu and they've added a new option where you can back up your save data to the cloud, I assume. And that way, if your Switch ever gets damaged or, you know, you ha your game has a problem, I assume, you know, your save data explodes, then you could uh, download the backup and not have any issues. So that is a really, really nice addition. Well, there you go, kids. 
Those are some of the biggest, most exciting, most interesting, slash, uh, most little known, in some cases, additions uh, in the new summer part two update for August. I hope this video helped you out or taught you something you didn't know or at least maybe entertained you a little. And remember, if you're still here, please, please, please subscribe, drop a like, leave a comment. Y'all are so freaking awesome. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Later.